are cutting my hair today. I'm so excited. It is my first haircut after giving birth. It definitely needs a little trim, a little refresh. And we've got baby girl here. <laughs> She's watching. I think we have about 10, 12 minutes to get this done. <laughs> but for now, she's being patient, she's eating, she's chill. So I just want a trim, please. How much? So, like that much. That's a trim for Andy. Yeah. fresh new haircut feels so good we took off like maybe five ten centimeters from the ends and just touched up the layers and gave everything like a nice refresh i do still really want to touch up my color as well it definitely needs a refresh but with our daughter now and with very limited time i think we'll just have to leave that for another point but still this feels very good and i feel like cutting your hair i don't know if you guys are like this too but it almost feels like a bit of a new beginning like a fresh start i think hair holds a lot of energy and when we cut it it's almost like you feel a bit like reborn and that's something that feels really nice now especially postpartum also it is fall time now every single year around this time i feel so inspired i love fall i love springtime and summer as well but fall just has this really beautiful like refreshing energy I I feel super motivated this time of year and also with being a new mom and I gave birth to my daughter in August so I'm now about two months postpartum I feel like the first few weeks and months are always the hardest that's what I've heard from you know other parents and moms and now we're kind of getting into a better groove of things and it just feels nice that it's also around fall time that gives me really good energy as well so in today's video I wanted to sit down and chat about a few of the things that I'm doing this fall that are kind of like my fall reset getting more and more back to feeling like myself after giving birth i'm not trying to get my old self back like i want to be a better version of myself now as a mom i want to be stronger even more focused more present more loving more organized and at the same time try to find an even more balanced like calm approach to life and i think that's really important when you have a newborn and especially as a first time mom when things are so different i love to have a little bit of a routine and structure in my day but i think it's so important to also have that flexibility and be really present and in the moment and if things don't go to plan that's okay too that's something that i've learned so much with being a new mom things are not on your schedule anymore there's a new little life in the picture but with that said having little moments for yourself as well where you can fill up your own cup i think that's so important and that will then help me to be a better mom for her in the long run so yeah i wanted to chat about a few of the things that i'm doing that are making me feel really good whether you're also a new mom or just want some inspiration for this time of year first thing is getting back into my workouts this has made such a difference to how i feel just 
gently moving my body it literally took me almost nine weeks to get back into this after giving birth and i've noticed that even if i didn't get like a complete night of sleep just exercising and moving my body in that way it gives me so many good endorphins it literally gives me energy just those feel good endorphins and good chemicals that you get after working out just totally lifts my mood and makes me feel so good and it's just nice to have that little bit of time for myself i'm doing something really good for my body taking care of myself i also love going on walks with my daughter in the afternoon and now especially with this fall weather it's so nice it's not too hot nature is so pretty the leaves the colors and it's really refreshing in the air as well so that's something that i've really been enjoying the second thing that I'm very excited to focus on this fall is cooking more food at home and making more meals. Since giving birth, I have been doing my best that I can like with cooking at home, preparing foods and all of that, but it is challenging. Like time is so much more limited. So we've been ordering in a lot and just getting a lot of takeaways and things like that, which I think there's definitely a place for that when you're postpartum and things are very crazy. But now with fall and with the weather changing, it's just nice to have home cooked meals that are really warming and cozy and especially like fall themed kind of things and that's something that I'm very excited to start doing again and focusing too on just including really nourishing and wholesome ingredients you know growing a human and giving birth and breastfeeding and all of that it takes a lot of energy and nutrients from your body and I think it's really important postpartum to also slowly rebuild and re-nourish your body from all of that also taking good supplements to strengthen your body I think that's really important as well and that's something that I've been trying to to stay consistent with since birth. It's one of those really small habits that can make a big difference. I take a postnatal vitamin, I take zinc, vitamin D, magnesium as well, and also a probiotic. I especially love the effects of the probiotic because it really helps to take care of your gut health. And your gut health is so closely linked to the health of your entire body. So not just your digestive system, but also even for your emotional health, for your skin health, and for your heart heart and brain health as well. My favorite probiotic is from Seed. This is the one that I've been taking for over a year and a half, almost two years now, and I love it. It is so effective. I've done so much research into gut health. I've listened to so many podcasts and all of the experts say that the health of your gut, the more diverse the gut bacteria, the more varied your gut microbiome is, the healthier the overall body is. And I especially love this brand of probiotics because the bacteria are actually guaranteed to make it all the way down to your colon. We have a lot of stomach acids and enzymes and bile salts that can destroy the bacteria, but this has a protective outer shell, so the bacteria is actually able to make it all the way down to where they need to go and have the really good effect. And again, it's not only really good for your digestive health, so for staying regular and helping with bloating and things like that, but for your skin health as well, I do see a huge difference in the health of my skin when and I stay consistent with my probiotics. And it's just a simple little thing to do as well. I just take two of these on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. If you guys have not tried seed yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. You can use the link down below and the code AnnieJ15 at checkout, and that will get you 15% off your first order. It's truly one of my all-time favorite supplements that I take, and it's something that I really see a big difference with. The next thing that I'm focusing a lot on this fall is my mental and emotional health. A huge thing that I've been doing the last few weeks of my postpartum has been listening to podcasts again. I normally do this when I go out on my walks with my daughter, but even sometimes when I'm home and I listen to all different kinds of topics. So of course I love things like self-development, but I also listen to a lot of nutrition things, episodes on motherhood to, you know, business types of podcasts. It just feels nice to connect and hear, you know, other people's stories. It keeps me learning about things. I find it very uplifting and inspirational also kind of a little meditative experience for me as well it's something that i can just do for myself and on this topic i actually created my very own meditation for you guys that is free this is something that i've wanted to do for so many years it's a meditation that focuses on achieving clear and healthy skin and it's so nice and relaxing i cannot wait for you guys to listen to it and experience it for yourself you guys know we 
have a skincare brand called Nourish 3 and the 3 actually comes from our 3 pillars. So we have external care, we have inner nourishment and emotional well-being. All of these 3 pillars I believe are really important in achieving clear and healthy skin long term. So this meditation is part of our third pillar now and it is free for you guys to listen to and to download. All you have to do is sign up on our website to our newsletter. I will have a link down below for you guys in the description box and it's very easy. You just sign up on our website and then you can access our freebies page where you will see the meditation. If you guys deal with breakouts or rashes, acne, skin irritations, I think this meditation would be really, really helpful. Or even if you just want to boost the vitality and the radiance of your skin and just feel really good. I think so much of that stems from how we feel on the inside and that good energy and that good self-love that we give ourselves that then translates out towards your skin. I think that is so important and that is why I created this meditation. Today I'll be taking you through this guided meditation for clear, beautiful, and healthy skin. So much of our health and vitality comes from a calm and balanced nervous system. In order for our bodies to work optimally and for our skin to thrive, we not only need to focus on proper external care and inner nourishment, but we also need to release and let go of stress and worries and invite an abundant positive energy to heal, rebalance, and bring us back to our true sense of self, which is rooted in peace and love. And it's also just a really nice meditation to listen to in general. I created it myself and I don't think there's anything else like it that I've personally heard, which is why I felt there was a need for it. So I would highly recommend you checking it out. It's completely free. Again, I will have a link down below for where you can get it. And I would love to hear your feedback on it as well. And then lastly, another thing I'm focusing a lot on this fall and just during this postpartum period is indulging in a little bit more self-care. So as you guys saw, I cut my hair which feels really good. I have been doing my nails again, which feels amazing. I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm the most excited about is having my nails done. I just love it. It makes me feel so good, so much more like fresh and put together. I also recently did a pedicure, which feels amazing. I like to do like a creamy white color on my feet. And then for my nails, I either do also like a soft white, but actually really love this very neutral color because I feel like it grows out very nicely. I'm hopefully going to go for a little massage soon too, which is going to feel so good, especially for my shoulders and my arms and my back. I'm carrying her a lot, you know, in my arms, but also in the carrier when we go on walks. And that's mostly how she likes to take her naps during the day because she's not the best day sleeper. And the night she's really good. She can sleep really well by herself, but during the day she's very much on me, which I love too, but I do start to feel it in my shoulders and in my back. So hopefully getting a little massage soon too. I've also ordered a few new beauty products on Cult Beauty that are gonna come in soon that I'm very excited for. So just doing like little self-care things for myself, indulging a little bit more. That is something that has been really nice lately and also something that I'm hoping to continue with during the fall time. And again, with all of this, like I mentioned earlier, it's nice to get back into a little bit of a routine and have a little bit more structure but also with that said another one of the things that I'm really focusing is just allowing myself to be really present and really in the moment and sometimes not feel like I have to do or stick to certain things you know this time in motherhood when she's a newborn you know she's so tiny and cute and everything is new for her I want to be really patient with both myself and with her and soak in all of these beautiful moments that are going to probably go by so quickly, but also not forgetting to take care of myself at the same time so that I can be a good mom, I can have energy to take care of her, and it's all just that balance. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some inspiration. Again, definitely make sure to check out the new meditation that I created. I will have a link for it down below in the description box. It's free to download and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about it. I will also have my necklaces linked for you guys down below, my Apple um, watch bracelet because a lot of you guys asked me about that and this little bracelet too. So make sure to check down below in the description box for links to all of these things. I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful 
beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.